Hello, welcome back to Tarot with Andy. Tarot by Andy, thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I was chatting on Twitter with a friend and we were talking about Sunshine Sacks. So I thought, wow, I need to check in with Sunshine Sacks. I haven't checked in on them lately. And uh, I will say, I was joking and saying that basically working for that pair uh, is probably like a war room, you know, like what you see in a crime show where they have papers all over the walls, you know, like mapped out uh, how, they, how they're going to strategize. So I wanted to get some energy on how they do it. You know, um, my pendulum said that basically they do all the planning and scheming. They put it by her and she approves or disapproves uh, the next strategy. But I still want to get some energy on the situation. I'm going to do all major arcana, upright, three of them, and then I'm going to clarify because that system works so well. So here we go. It just really gets down to it right away. So here we go. Uh, sunshine Sacks, the energy on Sunshine, sunshine Sacks and working with this pair and strategizing for them. Strategizing. What is it like strategizing for them? What's it like strategizing for this pair? What's it like strategizing? strategizing. Let me see if one falls out. Okay, here we go. Well, these are sticking out. I'm going to take that. Strength, selfishness, the hangman in reverse, and the high priestess in reverse. So right away, they try to appear as strong, but they're selfish, and they have clouded insight. They're blocked. They are not high vibe. They are not woke is what that's saying. So they're totally aware they're not woke. They just try to appear as though they are and that they're completely selfish. So basically that's the viewpoint from Sunshine Sacks. Now let's get the strength. Let's clarify the strength. Let's clarify the strength. Let's clarify the strength. Wow, there we go. I got two. That one came out too. So what I have here is we have here the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep, she's not capable of coming up with all these ideas. They do a lot of it for her. They also don't see her as being gifted at all at uh, what she attempts to paint herself as. And they don't see her uh, actually succeeding because we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, that's her worst nightmare right there. <laughs> okay, now let's get the hangman, the hangman. So they really don't like her. They really got a bad taste in their mouth for her. So let's get the hangman in reverse, hangman in reverse. Here we go, hangman in reverse. There we go. That is, they, due to their selfishness, they are forced to make a lot of choices here. Uh, they give them lots of choices. They give them lots of options because they, they need it. Because of their selfishness, they want all the options laid out for them so that they can call the shots. The next card here is the, the options are in reverse. There's not a lot of um, fulfillment here. They're not gaining any experience either emotionally. Uh, they don't feel emotionally attached to these decisions either. Um, and it's really about being selfish. So they really don't care what's put out there as long as it's put out there. In essence, they just want to be in the, in, the, in the public eye. They just want attention on them. And they really don't care what it is. They're not, they're not, uh, they have no discernment. No, they're not even really all that picky as far as I'm concerned. Let's get the high priestess in reverse. High priestess in reverse. Here we go. And we have here, yes, they want a new Ace of Cups constantly. They're always putting pressure on them. We need a new, a new emotional beginning, something we're going to really love. So put something out there so that we can be loved. They want everyone to start loving them. They want the whole public to start loving them, even though they are clouded and blocked in sight and are not woke. But they want to appear that way. They want to be totally loved. Totally loved. Let's get another one. And there it is. And they want people to think that their success is close, that they are creating something big, that they are just leaders looking out for everyone else. As you can see, he's looking out. He's looking out at the horizon and that I am, we are looking out for you. And, you know, we are builders here. We are creators and builders and you are going to love us. So that is, that is the, what they tell them they want. This is what they strive for. They know they're completely selfish. They, they're not super concerned about what's put out. So they do put a lot of fluff that's really um, ridiculous. 
and they do see Markle as a Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, appearing to be like as if she's strong, and she's not. This is sticking out, so I'm going to take it, and we have here, and it's in front of the whole world. They want everyone to see them. That's sticking out, I'm going to take it, and Page of Wands, and to do it for their son as well. So they are going to incorporate Archie at some point in time, or their children. They will, they will be bringing them in, is the, is the game plan. Under the surface, yeah, we're going to do the Ace of Wands. We're going to have some courage and bring the kids out at some point in time in front of the whole world. So that is in the, in the, in the planning mode for the future. I'm going to pull some more on the pages, more on the pages, more on the pages. Give me some more on the page energy, page energy. Here we go. We have here, and she's going to act like an emotional, loving mother is the next game plan coming up. So yes, those children will be merchandised. Give me more on the Queen of Cups we have here. And she's going to make lots of money. New money coming in as a result. So they are her little money bags. Let's get some more on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Here we go. Ah, we have here in reverse. So we have the Two of Wands in reverse. So the partnership in reverse out in front of the world. So she's going to act like... Um, She's not doing it on intentionally. She's going to try and veil it somehow. Oh, I'm not, really not partnered up with anyone. It just kind of happens in front of the world. Uh, so that's kind of how I see it with the two of wands in reverse. Uh, she's going to act like she didn't have the decision, that it was not a choice, that it's just because of who they are. Uh, so it was not, a, not something that she cho totally decides. So she's going to play innocent. Uh, let's get some more on that. Two of wands in reverse. Clarify two of wands in reverse. There we go. We've got here, yeah, partnership. The partnership in reverse. So she's going to act very innocent about any partnerships, any illusion of the kids being out there. She's going to claim innocence. And will the people find out? Will they find out and realize she is phony and a fraud? Let's see. We have here giving and receiving help. So yeah, she, there, people aren't going to see it as such innocence. They're going to realize that um, she is get, getting help in this. Uh, to make it appear. So she's going to probably take them out on charity events, things that help other people, because that will give her the, the best image. So I'm picking up that it's going to be at these, like going to soup kitchens, take her kids if she can. Uh, also, yeah, and that, you know, don't take a picture of my kid. You're not allowed to take a picture of my kid uh, while she's doing it, but she's actually going to love it. In the process so she's going to pull sort of the uh the michael jackson thing you know you bring them out but you, you bring them out kind of um veiled or somewhat hidden so let's find out about the page of cups in reverse here we go but actually she's looking for support she's going to be looking for more emotional support by doing it people will probably come to her defense uh, oh, don't photograph her kids she really doesn't want that so she's going to play innocent she's going to put them in that situation and then totally backpedal and play innocent just like she's saying she wants privacy she doesn't want privacy she doesn't want privacy for her kids so she's going to play the same the same gig my kids need privacy leave them alone while she's putting them in harm's way while she's taking them to functions and saying don't don't photograph them uh, and forcing uh, tabloids to blur out their faces and whatnot so she's going to claim total innocence, but absolutely she's going to monetize her kids in every way she can. And let's find out how does Harry feel about that. I'm going to add the rest of the deck shuffle and see how does Harry feel about that. How does Harry feel about that? What is Harry's take going to be if he ever opens his mouth because he's uh, living in fear and eggshells and he's quite... He's quite trained by this point to keep his mouth shut and not irritate her. Here we go. How, how will Harry truly feel about this? Because this is exactly his worst nightmare, according to him, but he's not behaving that way. So will Harry speak up? Will Harry speak up or stand up? Well, what will he do? How does Harry react? How does Harry react? What's Harry's reaction? Harry's reaction. Harry's reaction is the Hierophant. The Hierophant. So that could be, the marriage could be in, in turmoil here. That's, that is drawing the line for him. That's why I came out sideways. It's, it's drawing the line for him. It really is. So it's putting the marriage at risk along with the King of Swords. 
So he, it puts him at risk, and he may, may speak up about it because I got the king of swords. He might have sharp words for her and start saying that I don't want this burden. Yeah, we got the burden card here. I don't want this burden. You're putting my kids in the same position I was in. The marriage is at risk. And, you know, you, ma you manifested this. You made this happen. You made this happen. You were doing this. Stop. Under the surface, you know. The kids, the kids, basically, this is another page. You're making the kids, you're putting the kids in the forefront here. Um, this is deceit. This is a secret of nature with the page of, a page of swords. So this is total deceit on your part involving them. And in the center of it, it's going to make him very emotional, very emotional. So he's not going to like it at all. And he's going to start speaking out. This is where when you tell the narc no, that's when you go into complete divorce mode. As soon as he starts saying no to her about making money and appearing innocent and not wanting attention, uh, that's not going to bode well for a narcissist. You'd never tell a narcissist no, by the way, never, because they will prove you wrong. It goes into full sadism mode at that point. They're going to they're gonna make you hurt, and they're going to make you hurt bad. So let's get some more cards here on... The sunshine sacks, sunshine sacks, and the whole PR maneuvers, PR maneuvers, sunshine sacks, and PR maneuvers. That wants out. So it's high honor. They feel it's a high honor to be representing them. And poverty, because they're they've got a poverty mindset. They feel they have a poverty mindset, although it's a high honor. And imprisonment. So basically, they do realize that the things they're doing could land them in trouble. And they are also, imprisonment can also be, you're, in, you're a victim of your own mind, you're in your own prison uh, because of the poverty here. So they, they see them as very poverty mindset, a victim of their own imprisonment uh, by the royal, the royal attachment here. And it, they do see it as a high honor to be uh, working with them. Under the surface, yeah, an official person dealing with an official person. So they like the paycheck. They like the paycheck. And someone made a comment that, you know, here they're talking about security and pissing and moaning about security. All you have to do is fire Sunshine Sacks and you've got your security money. You know, if they weren't into scheming and planning and having people organize your social media posts, you would have security money. So it just goes to show the fabrication of them. Uh, you know, they spend so much. It's the most expensive firm to hire. And yet they continue to do it. Um, and they would have their security money if they were truly private citizens, truly wanted privacy, and didn't have a PR firm uh, working day and night in their behalf, you know, on their behalf. So, yeah, fun stuff, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's see. What else should I do? Hmm, should I get some? How is she doing right now? How is she doing today? How is this <clears throat> nearly about to pop lady doing how is she doing how is she doing how is that woman doing how is she doing today how is she doing today how is that woman doing that woman is feeling like she needs to take a new road new road for work so not happy with the way things are going and we got this too a new lease on life so she's feeling like if she goes down yet another road and anchors down something different, she can have a new lease on life. So right now, this tells me this is devaluation. She's got total devaluation on her mind of how she's going to discard Harry eventually. Go on a different road. Go down a different path. Let's find out, is Harry going to be involved? Will Harry be with her? Does she include Harry? Does she include Harry? This is sticking out. I'm going to take it. Well, we got the family tree. Is Harry involved? The key to the family. She wants to unlock some family tree stuff. So that's probably after she's done more damage to the family. After she feels like she's unlocked everything and revealed a bunch of stuff to the public uh, about the family, she can have a new lease on life finally and uh, take off and anchor down something else and uh, have a new lease on life. So by doing all this damage, she thinks she's going to unleash a new lease on life. Um, by taking down and, and unlocking the secrets. And she feels that she will have a new higher self, a new fresh start, a new path with the stars.
but she will self-flagellate herself and beat herself up a bit. She will beat herself up. Uh, let's get some more on her beating herself up. <laughs> I will do the whole deck and shuffle. What is she self-flagellating about? What is she self-flagellating about? What is she self-flagellating? That is, that is just mentally beating yourself up. So she, has, she does have um, self-doubt in essence. There's a lot of self-doubt going on there. Uh, the confidence is false. There's no, true fa there's no true confidence in a narcissist. That's all the mask. Underneath it, they're a, a crying, whimpering little child, okay? And they stay that way. Never believe the mask. It's all fake. They're fake from first, you know, they're fake till their last dying breath, okay? Here we go. Let's get some cards on the flagellation. Flagellation. What is she flagellating about? Here we go. Ah, she's using her emotions. She's crying. She's crying that she is a good person. I'm a good person and nobody sees it. Why can't they see what a good person I am? And I'm a loving, nurturing energy. And... I just needed to go on a new path. Why can't people love my new path and my new journey? And she pisses and moans that she knows she's not a higher self individual. She beats herself up because she knows she's truly not that person. So that's what she beats herself up about. Under the surface, and she knew of the problems and struggles that would face her. She knew of the problems and struggles. So she is flagellating that she's lied about that. She knew what royal life would be like. And she beats herself up that, that she's constantly tired and wiped out. Maintaining the mask and all the battles that she's doing daily through her social media, through Sunshine Shacks, Sacks, through everything she does, she's wearing herself out. She's absolutely exhausting herself. Can you imagine how exhausted Harry is? She's exhausting herself just by being herself. Now she's, she's exhausting herself. And it makes her very emotional that she's judged by her path that she's judged that she's not a high, higher self individual. And she knows that people think she's full of it. And it's making her very emotional that people are calling her out that you knew what royal life was like. You're a liar. And so all her lies are making her very exhausted and tired. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great, beautiful day. Thank you for watching. And if you like, you can follow me at Tarot Time with Andy, where I'm doing everything that is not royal on the other channel. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.